Hi, this is that boy Drew of Single Shot Studios, and we're gonna start off by learning how to color this ladybug that I drew a couple years back. We're gonna start off by going in layers palette. This was a mistake; I wasn't supposed to duplicate this layer. So go to your channels tab, which I'm about to do. You see, it has RGB color. You're gonna go to image mode and turn it to grayscale, and click OK. Make a new duplicate layer of that. Click on the gray, the first grayscale one and turn it white. I accidentally turned it gray which you need to go ahead and turn that white. Go back to image mode, turn it back to RGB color like like so. Um, make sure you can see your line art but you see behind the line art it how it's all washed out looking. Go to, double click the box and make it turn to back to line art. You see it's more crisp. It looks like ink again. Basically what I did was separate the colors from the line art. So go back and select your RGB selection grab the polygon lasso tool the polygon lasso tool which allows you to make better selections to do your colors the regular lasso tool is really really hard to use as far as that goes and it's real loose this one is more stiff you just click it's like a point click system I'm gonna start off by selecting his head so you can zoom in by pressing control plus on the keypad but I'm gonna start selecting it uh, around his head don't worry about it right now as far as the colors because I haven't colored anything else that's why I'm cutting out everything so sloppy at the moment also that kind of reduces the workload just being real sloppy in the beginning I'm gonna choose a color by going to the color palette I'm choosing like a maybe a little washed out looking green or whatever that is and I push alt delete which will allow me to color in without having to click on the paint bucket tool but it's the same thing now I'm going to go ahead and start outlining the eyeballs so I can color those back the original color that they were supposed to be, which is white. And I held shift and can made my other selection. That way I wouldn't have to make two different selections and color them two different times. Again, this saves on workload, so I'm doing a lot of little fast edit, uh, you know, fast little shortcuts. I'll explain that in further detail in the next tutorial for the second color which is under the green I push control delete which fills in anything you selected with the the bottom color which you know with a square under that green square to the left in the, in the tools palette um, now I'm selecting a shell which I'm gonna assume color red but you know I'm just selecting it right now even though I'm selecting over the arms that's okay because I'll go back and make this selections for the arm later same as the shell Once I made the selection, I'm going to choose the color and the colors palette again. Same thing again. I press Alt Delete in order to make the fill in whatever I selected with the first color. As you see, as I was selecting, I kind of messed up. I went backwards a little bit. That's fine. You can always fix that later. I'm not going to fix it in this tutorial. I'm just showing a little sample of how to do everything. Right now, I'm, I'm selecting the face, the the chest, the front chest of the the ladybug, whatever you would want to call it. Same, it's basically the same thing over and over again. Just cutting out different areas and selecting it with the color of your choice. Once that selection has been made, okay, again, I'm gonna go choose the color. Once you see what I do the whole tutorial, it's going to be real easy. You just do over and over, same same steps basically. I zoom out all the time by contrasting control minus just to see how my picture looks, uh, how everything looks from a zoomed out scale. I'm going to work on the shadows. What I just did, I just selected the base color of the shell and it went down a color, a couple of shades, and I'm just selecting the area where I would like the shadows to be real simple it's basically the same thing as cutting out for base colors except you're just cutting out where you want your shadows to be same thing with the head I used the eyedropper tool to select the color of the, the base color of his head and then I went down a couple of shades and I'm selecting again wherever I would like the shadow to be again I'm zooming in with control my uh, plus excuse me control plus 
That way I can make sure I'm getting my selections between the line art. Again, I just filled the, the selected area with the shadow color. And once you're starting in the shadows, you'll see that the picture is, is you know, starting to pop out. I'm choosing a gray color right now for the eyeballs. I like the shade in my eyeballs when it comes to drawing my characters. Again, I'm selecting an area where I would think the shadow would be. And I'm filling it in. This time I didn't hold shift to do the next eyeball, but that was just an example. Seeing if I would have held shift, I wouldn't have had to color both eyeballs at different times. It's not that big of a deal, but if you're doing a lot of coloring, it'll help uh, with the workload in the long run. Again, zooming out to see how everything looks. I'm just going to go ahead and select the base color for the shell, the chest again. I'm going to make the shadow even bigger just to separate it from the shell. Same thing with the shell on his back. I'm just chose the color first before I started cropping anything. And I'm just doing this fairly quick. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. You're just practicing and I'm just showing once you made the selection of course again filling in with the shadow color but now I'm going to move on to actually showing you how to do a, a, a sample of a lighting effect which will which is basically choose a base color it's the reverse of shadowing choose a base color and just choose a, a couple shades lighter than the base color and you grab the gradient tool which I did just did there and make sure the the mode is from color to transparent but basically I selected the base color of the face also and just did a, a quick gradient over his face and that created a light same thing with the chest and you could quickly select your base colors without having to re polygon lasso tool them by using the magic wand the magic wand tool is a little thing like a little a, a firecracker popping or a little piece of dynamite basically the same process over and over again zooming out it's just a little sample I'm gonna stop right here I'm just gonna show you basically what you could do just using this simple method and uh, I'll, I'll fill in more information on the next tutorial you know I'm pretty lazy I'm just playing but thanks for watching